Hey, this is Greg Perkins. A Leica GS18 GNSS receiver can be configured to stream RTK corrections from a real-time network to devices such as our Leica utility detection systems or third-party systems such as hydrographic survey gear without the need to have a Leica controller continually present. To complete this setup, you will need a GS18 receiver with NEMA output activated and configured for internet connectivity with a cellular service. Onboard internet on a, the GS18 requires a GAT27 antenna connected to the GS18 4G LTE port. You'll also need a Leica controller for the initial setup and a, and a subscription to a real-time network for RTK corrections. This video will cover setting up your GS18 for internet connectivity in a real-time network, set up to output the NEMA stream to your external device, and how to edit your real-time connection to either connect automatically or via simple button push to your real-time network. So let's get started. Let's create an RTK profile to connect to the internet and then to a real-time network. So go to Settings, Connect. Connections, RTK Rover Wizard, press OK. We'll create a new profile. I like to name these based on the real-time network that I'm connecting to, so I'm using Hexagon SmartNet here in Virginia. I'll press Next. We'll use the internet connection, press Next. Our internet will be coming through the GS18, so remember you need a SIM card installed with cellular service and your GAT27 antenna connected to the 4G LTE port. Then we select GS modem. This is showing the name of our modem device inside the GS18. That's correct, so we'll press Next. You don't need to enter information in the PIN and PUC code, so you can press Next. Your cellular provider will have a specific APN to allow internet connection, so you'll need to type that in. Press Next. The unit will take some time to connect to the internet. Now you'll need to enter the details for your real-time network connection. If you don't have one already created, you'll be prompted to enter the server name. We'll call this SmartNet Virginia. Put in the domain name or IP address. In this case, we'll use a domain name and our port. This information will be provided to you by your real-time network. With the Captivate controller, we want to enter our in-trip information with user account. Put in your in-trip user ID and password. Press next. Let's select our mount point from the source table. That'll give us a check on our internet connectivity. We typically recommend that you use MSM IMAX when working in SmartNet. Press next. Check the box to receive RTK corrections. If you're using an MSM IMAX, then select the IMAX network type. Make sure that your send GGA message is checked. Press next. Select the RTK correct RTK data format for a smart net that would be RTC MV3 and press next. You don't need to test your connection just save your settings and then press next. Now let's configure your NEMA output stream for your external device. So go to settings, connections, all other connections, page over to GS connections. You have two options here for NEMA for NEMA out, so select NEMA 1, press edit, check the box to stream NEMA, select your device, in this case I'll select RS-232, check the correct version of NEMA that you want to export, and then select messages, and select the message type that you want to use. So you can highlight the correct message type to stream and press use, press OK. At this point, you will need to make your connection to your device, then press OK. Our settings and Captivate are now complete and we're ready to take our receiver to the field. With the settings the way we have it right now, we would need to follow a procedure in the field to connect the GS18 to the network. I'll show you how that works. I have my GS18 outside. I'm tracking satellites and my Captivate controller is turned off. To connect to SmartNet or to your RTK network with just the antenna, you would hold the button here on the right. This looks like the antenna. Hold that down until the down arrow flashes quickly. Let go. And the process to connect to SmartNet has begun. And we're now receiving data from the network and we have a fixed position. And that data will now be streamed out via NEMA to your device. If you don't want to go through the process of pressing the button to connect to SmartNet every time, you can set up your GS18 to automatically connect when it's booted up. To do that, you're going to go to Settings, Connections, All Other Connections, Page Over to GS Connections, Highlight RTK Rover, and press Edit. You want to scroll down to the bottom of the page here under RTK Data and press Automatically Connect, and then set that to when the unit is turned on. Press OK and those settings will be set to the sensor. Press OK again, and we're now ready to shut down our Captivate controller, take the unit outside, turn it on, and connect to SmartNet. 
So I'll show you how that's done. Now that we're set for automatic connection to SmartNet, I'm here, my receiver's turned off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. The receiver is booting up. The boot up process takes about 30 seconds. The boot up process is complete. Once we begin tracking satellites, the connection to SmartNet is made and we now have a fixed position. You'll notice that I didn't connect the unit to an actual device in the video. That's because the connection settings will be different depending upon the device you choose. Thanks for taking the time to watch.